These are the Valve knuckle controllers, most probably the most anticipated VR accessory of modern times. Now I have an ample time to check out the new functions and to use them in our favorite games, like for example in Beat Saber to try to find out if they give you an unfair advantage. I tried them in first person shooters like Arizona Sunshine, I tried Bone Arrow games like In Death and in this video. I'm going to let you know what are my impressions and if these are really the controllers that we've all been dreaming of. Coming up. Hi and welcome to MRTV. My name is Sebastian Ang. And if this is your first time here and if you're just as excited about VR and AR as me, then subscribe now and click on the bell button so you don't miss anything. Now, this should be a rather exciting video because finally I'm going to let you know what I think of the Valve Knuckles. However, this here is not the final MRTV review of the Knuckles because this here is not the final retail version of the Knuckles, but this is still the development kit version. So even though this might be very, very close to the retail version, it is still not. And then the full MRTV review is gonna come up once I got the final retail version in my hands. However, probably these are very, very close already to the final retail ones. So therefore, I believe that these impressions that I'm going to share with you very, very soon are going to be very close to what I'm going to feel about the retail ones as well. So I don't want to beat around the bush. Let's directly dive in. So do I believe that these are the best controllers on the market right now? Yes, absolutely. I believe that these are the best controllers, the best VR controllers that you can find right now for quite a lot of reasons. However, there's also some trouble in paradise. Not everything is perfect and I'm going to let you know what I think could still be improved and perhaps will be improved, but probably not. So definitely stay tuned and watch the video now. For all of you who have never heard about the Valve Knuckles controllers, these controllers are being developed by Valve, the company that's also doing the Lighthouse tracking that is used by the Vive, the Vive Pro and the Pimax. So these are going to work with the Vive, Vive Pro and the Pimax and all the headsets that in the future are going to use the Valve Lighthouse tracking system. Let's have a look. So what you can see directly the most important um, new improvement as compared to the Vive wands, you can strap them to your hand so you can throw grenades or whatever and this is definitely a huge improvement. Then you have now a thumbstick here which we didn't have on the Vive wands before. Then you have this little touchpad here and the shape of the touchpad is very interesting. It's not a circle anymore but even though it's not a circle still you have the full range of motion and that kind of surprised me. So you, you cannot just go up and down on the touchpad. You can actually also go from side to side. Then you have here A and B buttons on actually on both. It's exactly the same. And you have one menu button here. And very important now as well, you have like um, sensors here and here and also here on the trigger. So the, the position of your fingers is being tracked by the valve knuckles. Also very exciting. Um, there's no grip button anymore. The whole thing here is pressure sensitive. So it can tell if you squeeze it and how strong you squeeze it. So that's definitely very interesting. But now let's have a look into the games together and well, how I used the knuckle controllers. The first game that I want to show you is actually a demo. It's called Moon Dust and it shows off the new functionality of the Valve controllers, of the Valve Knuckles controllers. So what you gotta do, you gotta grab these moon rocks, bring them over to here and then crush them. You crush them by squeezing onto the Valve Knuckles controllers. So even in the first step when you grab them, you gotta squeeze a bit, but you gotta squeeze stronger if you want to crush this moon rock and that works fantastic. This is truly one great addition to the Valve Knuckles. You don't have this one grip button, this binary zero one, either you grip or not. You have these pressure sensitive whole grip and it responds to how strongly you squeeze it and it works simply fantastic. So we can now go to the next demo. 
We are still in the Moondust application and this demo shows off how incredibly awesome it works to throw things. Like in this demo, you throw these grenades and it is, it is just so great. It works so intuitively awesome. And um, yeah, I had so much fun simply throwing these grenades. So you take those grenades simply by gripping your, your valve knuckles. Then to activate them, you give them another squeeze. And then in order to throw, well, you would simply throw. Just you would throw a real object in real life. You strike out, then you simply throw and yeah, you stop holding your valve knuckles controllers. And in this moment, you let loose of the grenade and throw it. Wonderful. In this demo here, you could also change the gravity, but uh, for me, the earth gravity worked the best since it just feels as natural as throwing something in real life. Now, this strapping the valve knuckles to your hand is absolutely one of the major advantages, in my opinion. Since, yeah, you can throw things, you can say hello to somebody, you don't have to worry about always holding your controller and that is truly amazing. The next demo shows off the thumbsticks but before that I would like to show you a little problem that I found. So for me the finger tracking didn't really work so well. Sometimes the middle finger would simply stick out even though I didn't stick out the middle finger in real life. Now I did do the calibration but still, still the middle finger sometimes would pop off and well, of course, that is not such a great thing if, for example, you are in a social VR app. Anyways, this is not the final version. Probably this is going to get better in the final version. Now, in this demo, you use the thumbstick in order to control two RC cars that would roam around the moon here. And there are absolutely no surprises here, it works perfect and I for myself I'm really happy that the Valve Knuckles controllers now have a thumbstick and also have a thumb pad, so both just like Windows MR controllers. But now let's have a look at Beat Saber. So probably you're wondering how well do these work with Beat Saber and would you get an unfair advantage if you use them? Can you get higher high scores? And I can tell you Yes, I absolutely believe that these are the best controllers in order to play Beat Saber. It's just such a relief that you don't have to grab and hold on to the controllers all the time like you have to do with the Oculus Touch or with the Vive Ones or with the Windows MR controllers. It's so relaxed to simply have them strapped to your hand and you can in a more relaxed way slash those blocks that are coming at you. Talking about slashing things, I wanted to try out a game where I would wield a sword. And well, I love raw data, so this is the game I checked. And I can tell you guys, also here for this game, for wielding a sword, it feels just so natural, it feels so good. And I had so much fun simply using the sword with the Valve Knuckles controllers. And it even made raw data better than I have ever played it before. So absolutely yes. So wielding swords with the valve knuckles works perfectly. And of course, I also wanted to check out a bow and arrow game. And for that, I used In Death. I know lots of people love In Death. I still have to get around playing it for much longer times. Anyways, you want to know if it works well with the knuckles controllers. And I can tell you, it works perfectly with the knuckles controllers. It's pure bliss and all of you who were like hunting high scores here in In Death, you will get a higher high score with this one and it will feel even more immersive to shoot the arrows. So why is that so? Well, when you draw the bow and then shoot the arrow, you would simply let loose of the controller, of the whole controller, just as if you would completely let loose of the arrow in order to shoot it. And of course, that is much, much more immersive. So yes, Valve Knuckles, perfect for bone arrow games. And of course, I wanted to check out a shooter with the Valve Knuckles controllers. And as you can tell, I chose Arizona Sunshine. Arizona Sunshine still being one of my favorite shooters in VR. The double wielding, the reloading, everything is really interesting. And um, yeah, perfect for me to check out how well this would work with the Valve Knuckles controllers. 
And also here I can tell you it feels so good. Even simple things like gripping things like here, for example, this ammunition, getting it from the floor by simply gripping it, not looking for the grip button, no, really gripping the whole thing, the whole controller. It's so much better. And even if it seems to be a small thing, actually in game, it does make a difference. Also, as what the gunplay itself is concerned, it is simply fun. It feels good to hold them in your hands. They feel right. And uh, yeah, the shooting action with the trigger feels good. The trigger is nice. It has a click in the very end. It doesn't feel too strong or too, too weak. It is actually really, really good and lots of fun. So what happens in these shooter games if you let loose of the Knuckles controllers? Of course it depends on the game. If the grip button is used to hold the gun or the weapon, then it will fall down. So this is actually how it should be with those games when using the Valve Knuckles and some games will need to be optimized for that. So as you could tell, these are simply amazing and it does feel that you have an unfair advantage over people who don't have them. So absolutely something that you can look forward to again so what did i love i love the fact that you can simply strap them to your hands it is simply amazing that you can throw grenades like that and it, it feels just incredible that yeah you don't have to worry about losing them and you can simply feel more immersed your hands are in virtual reality it is great it is really really good then also fantastic that you now have this thumbstick and but that you still have the yeah the pad if for some reasons in some games you still might need it so i like it that you have actually both and that you have both on both sticks this is really good then what i really really also liked is that you don't have this grip button anymore it didn't feel natural on the Vive once to use that grip button, right? But here you simply grip the whole thing. You grip the whole the whole controller and it's just more natural in game. So whenever I, I was like, um, yeah, gripping something, it felt natural and it felt good. So a big win, without a doubt, really, really nice. So um, yeah, actually the one thing that didn't work so well in my opinion was, um, the the finger sensor sensors as you could see more often than i wanted i was giving people the finger <laughs> and um yeah this was simply not so perfect so you have to make sure that your fingers are exactly on the sensors and probably you could get to it where your fingers are perfectly on the sensors but it doesn't work so amazingly well in the first time you try it probably I will get used to put them on the right spot, but I shouldn't have to like put them exactly on the right spot. This, this was simply my impressions after using them. So now let me tell you also about something that I did not like so much about them and something that actually surprised me when I got them for the first time. I imagine when I'm going to hold them in my hands for the first time, I will be blown away. And I thought like probably I'm going to have the same feeling that I have that I had when I used the, the touch, the Oculus touch controllers for the first time, because it felt like, wow, they, they fit so well. But honestly speaking, I think ergonomically, these are not a home run. Yeah, this is really one thing that where I have to say like, okay, when I first had them in my hands, they feel okay, but they don't feel like, wow, they, it's like, oh, they are just like perfectly fitting in my hands. I had this feeling when I was, when I, when I got the, the touch controllers, when I got the touch controllers and when I had them in my hands for the first time, I felt like, wow, they did such a great job. And I still think so. I still think like, wow, the touch controllers, they feel so amazingly great in my hands, just like as if they were, yeah, made perfectly uh, to fit my hands. I don't have the same feeling with, with the knuckles controllers. And um, yeah, have a look, have a look at them. Have a look at them they they don't seem to be uh, manufactured in any way to to kind of like ergonomically fits into your hands perfectly so it is okay but 
I felt that during gameplay, I, I did have to like readjust them sometimes. And for example, when I, when I can perfectly um, reach the buttons here, then um, let me show you that. Okay, now I can, for example, I can perfectly reach, reach the buttons here. Then my finger doesn't feel like very naturally being able to, to press the trigger. So I have quite big hands, I must tell you. So probably this works better with people who have smaller hands. I don't know, but still, after having used them for a couple of days right now, I still feel I have to adjust them far too often in order to have that perfect fit where I forget that I'm, that I'm holding them in my hands. So this part, I feel a bit sad. I must honestly tell you guys and um, would I say that the Oculus Touch controllers are more comfortable than the Valve Knuckles controllers? Yes, I would say that the, the Knuckles controllers feel better in my hand than the, the Valve Knuckles. And I think that might be like a disappointment for quite a few people who thought like, okay, this is the holy grail now of controllers. I still think there could be some improvement as what the ergonomics are concerned. In general, is this still better than the Oculus Touch and the Vive Wands? Absolutely it is for all the reasons that I mentioned, especially like being able to just like, yeah, not having to hold them for the whole time and to be able to squeeze them, not having this trigger button, having touchpad and, and the, yeah, and the thumbsticks, but they could even be a tad better as what the ergonomics are concerned. So that's it for this first impressions video of the Valve Knuckles controllers. Definitely amazing controllers, the best VR controllers that I've ever used. However, not a home run in the ergonomics department. I hope that you enjoyed this video. If yes, give it a thumbs up. And of course, if you have not yet subscribed to MRTV yet, do so now. And I'm looking forward to see you in the next episode.